If you want power, they say you have to read 48 Laws of Power. I cringe whenever I hear people talk about 48 Laws of Power like it's some mystic and magical book. People who overvalue that Robert Greene book are just so cringy and these Machiavelli wannabes or they watched House of Cards and realized this is their key to success. It's just, ugh, ugh. But for you and I, we'll just take what we need from the book and just move on. So with that being said, I do want to tell you that there are some laws that are amazing, fascinating, and worth their weight in gold. But in today's video, I'm going to talk about one law in particular that every nerd should have memorized in their head. And that is Law 25, Recreate Yourself. In this law, Robert Greene talks about how we just accept identities that are just thrust upon us. You know, whether those identities come from our friends, our families, our environment, our work, we just accept those identities and then just live life passively, accepting whatever comes our way. But Robert Greene reminds us that we don't have to accept the roles that we don't create for ourselves. We always have to remember that we have the power to recreate ourselves into whatever we'd like. For me, I used to be a very academic nerd. My family and friends, they all thought of me as a nerd and I just accepted that identity. But as I got older and as I started investing in myself more, I realized that I didn't have to accept myself as this academic nerd. I could be so much more. So I started working out. I started traveling more. I started to be more social. And in the end, I recreated myself into this charismatic nerd you see today. And the funny thing is, I could have started this transformation years ago had I not accepted the roles that were put upon me. So unlike me, you don't have to wait years to realize how true this law is. You can start today in recreating yourself. And if you're not too sure how to do that, I'll give you some quick tips. So the first one is make sure to work out. I don't care if you're not fit, I don't care if you're intimidated, just get to the gym and start working out. The second thing you can do is start reading books. And when I mean books, read a wide variety of them. You know, philosophy, science, economics, whatever you're interested in, go towards that and read and just and absorb anything that you can. The third one is, like I've always said, be more social. Whether that's joining a social hobby or talking to an old friend, just make sure to expand your social network that you so you have a variety of people in your lives. And the last one to help you with recreating yourself is make sure you have a personal project that can be a creative outlet for you. Whether that's writing, making videos, have a side hustle, whatever. Just have some, some form of a personal project just for yourself that is, is only for you. And the reason why I'm a big proponent of that is when you start some form of venture, there's countless benefits that you won't even realize. In the long run, it's gonna help you turn into much more wholesome individuals and you're gonna be able to build a wider skill set. So guys, those are just like what, four or five quick tips just to help you recreate yourself. If you want something just a little more in depth, then you can definitely download my self-improvement cheat sheet for nerds in the first comment below, but I digress. So you guys, you have to realize that it's never too late to recreate yourself. You can be so much more in life, you know, whether that's having, you know, a bumping social life, having more lady friends, being a more confident individual, all these things can happen. But you have to start following Law 25, recreate yourself. You know, personally guys, you know, I used to wish to have a girl love me or I wish I had, you know, cool friends that would invite me out. And I struggled to achieve these goals for a very long time. And the reason for that is because I accepted my nerdy identity where I should just be alone, just be academic, and not try anything outside my comfort zone. But when I decided to remove those imaginary shackles and recreate myself into something that I wanted, that's when life became a lot more fun and rewarding. So don't ever forget that you can always recreate yourself. It's never too late. 
Whew. But you know, before we get any deeper in this video, I'm gonna stop there. So guys, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Please show me some love. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, my email list. And please remember guys, you're just not any type of nerd. You're a charismatic nerd.